Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Hot Wheels Mama's Fam. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about cerebral palsy because I myself have cerebral palsy and I'm going to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have a disability does not mean you cannot live a productive life because you absolutely can. And for those of you that don't, I want you to understand just because someone that has a disability doesn't mean that you have to make fun of them because we might have certain things that we have to have help with but it doesn't mean that you have to treat someone less because they have a disability for today's video what I want to talk about is what my life what my life is like being disabled I'm gonna go with the easy part first now for those of you that have been watching for a while, you know I have two children and they're the light of my life. The doctors have always told me that I could not have any children. Well, once again, I have proved them wrong. I am the strongest person that you may know, that you may come across because I don't give up on things that I want. I am just who I am and I'm not going to let anybody stop me in that regard. Now, the hardest part of my life is that being disabled is I have to have a lot of help on things that I can't do. Now, there are some things that I can do, but I hate when I have to ask for help because I feel like I'm a burden to whoever I have to ask for help. Because before my fiance got here, it's like I was pulling teeth to get what I needed to get done because the person didn't want to do it. So that resulted resulted in me doing things that I couldn't do for myself to try to do it in a different way. So, and I ended up getting hurt by doing it myself. I hurt my back, I hurt my legs. I think I hurt every part of my body. Now, what I'm getting at is you need help with certain things. Don't be like me and don't be afraid to ask. Now, I'm not afraid to ask for help. It's just when I do ask for help, the person that I had here, or I have here before my fiancé came He just didn't want to do sh crap. And it was frustrating me, so we would always get into fights. Because he wanted, it, he wanted it his way, and I needed it my way. I got tired of hurting myself. So, I would ask for help. And believe it or not, my back still constantly hurts because I pulled that muscle on my back for doing stuff that I shouldn't have been doing that I had to do a different way because 
I had no help. So I'm telling you, if you guys need help, please just keep asking. It may take them a while to do what you need them to do, but eventually they will do it, whether they want to or not. And... A lot of people ask me, do I like my life? In the beginning when I was growing up, no, I did not like my life because I couldn't do what my brothers and sisters did. I wanted to do what they could do, but as the years went by, I realized that if I wanted to do what they did, I had to teach myself, meaning I had to do it a different way than anyone else to make it fit for my needs so I could do it. And now that I'm older, I realize me doing those challenges that I had to do when I was growing up, I can help somebody else in that area if they're struggling. And the reason I like my life is because I can help you guys understand more and more every day what it's like for me to be in a wheelchair. Again, guys, as I always told you, I don't like the word disabled because to me, that means you can't do anything in life and... Just because you have a handicap does not mean that you have to give up on certain things. Doesn't mean that you have to give up on your dreams. Because you absolutely can do whatever you need to do in life. Yeah, it may be, str it may be a struggle at first. But if you put your mind to it, you can do it. It's not that hard. You just have to m make the modifications so you can do it. And if, you, if you really want to be somebody, or if you really, not be somebody, but if you really want it to be with somebody that you have feelings for, it will work out one of these days. I waited and waited and waited. And wait, and I finally got the person that was for me. And he's the best person that a woman can have. My children love him to death. I love him to death. It's kind of funny, guys, because when my kids call, they don't ask for me at first, they ask for him, and that, and that's my goal for my children to love him, because if my children didn't love him, I don't know what I would do, because I would feel like, yes, my kids come first, but my happiness also comes along with that. So I would have to balance it out. It doesn't mean that I'm leaving him because my kids don't like him. It just means that I would have to balance it out so they would get along. But ho or luckily, I did not have to do that. My my children love him to death. He's, he's the best person that a woman could ever ask for. No matter what I want or what I need, he gets me what I need. He doesn't make me wait. And he supports me doing YouTube every single day. He supports me in anything I need or anything I want to do. He doesn't tell me no you don't need this. He just goes and gets it. 
Even though I feel like I don't need it, he just goes and gets it. And that's not why I love him the most. The, the reason why I love him the most is because he has the kindest heart that I could ever ask for. So if you're ever, if you're looking for someone to be with, don't hesitate to go for what you want just because you have a handicap. Because you can, again, you can do whatever you set your mind to. Don't let anybody ever tell you no, you can't do something in life. You know what? When people told me I couldn't do something, I was the type of person. I'm going to prove you wrong because I'm tired of hearing you tell me I can't do this, I can't do that. So I'm going to prove you wrong. So I proved them wrong and they stopped saying that because I proved them wrong. Just remember, you're strong, you can fight for what you want, and remember, if you ever need help finding something, or you need something done, please feel free to contact me on YouTube, I definitely check my medications or uh, my medications. Sorry. My uh, comments every day. So don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Don't. If I don't get back to you right away, it's not that I'm ignoring you. I'm busy. But I will get back to you. If you want to talk about something. That you're struggling with as far as your handicap. Please leave that in the comments below. And I will help you through it. Because I know what it's like. It's hard. You feel like you lost yourself, but you can get yourself, but you can get yourself back. Just remember that. I'm going to end this video here today, but before I do, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. Please make sure you smash the like button for this video and all my other videos and keep watching all my other videos. And wherever you can leave comments, leave them. And as I always say, never say you can't, always say you can. And never give up. Oh, and don't forget. Question and answer Saturday is tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And please make. And please make sure you watch this video the whole way through. Yeah. They're in the mailbox key is in the truck. Yeah. Um, let me make sure. So please make sure I pause there for a minute because my roommate and my fiance were talking. So remember question and answer Saturday is tomorrow. I'm gonna go for now, but I will see you guys tomorrow sometime. Bye, guys.